Hi everybody, it's Amber from Sweet Am's Cookies. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I made these toucan cookies using royal icing transfers. Start out by cutting the cookie from a chilled sheet of cookie dough. This template and my lime coconut cookie recipe are available to my Patreon subscribers. Then transfer the cookie to a parchment lined cookie sheet to bake for about 12 to 14 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you'll ice the cookie with flood consistency royal icing with a decorating tip 3. My flood consistency icing is 15 to 20 second count. You can learn more about it by taking my online class royal icing 101. And now I'm using my scribe tool to help shape the icing. This cookie needs to dry overnight. While that's drying, you can work on your royal icing transfers. I'm putting my template underneath a piece of parchment paper. You can also use wax paper for this. And these templates are also available to my Patreon subscribers. I'm filling in the wings with black icing. This consistency is a little bit thicker than my normal flood consistency. It's around 30 second count. If you have trouble making black icing, you can look at my blog post that talks about how to make it, and it also talks about how to prevent color bleed when you're using dark colors. The link to that post is in the description. If you don't have a scribe tool like this one, you can use a toothpick or something like a cake tester instead. Or if you want to get your own scribe tool, you can get that from my shop. For the branch, I'm using stiff consistency icing that's been thinned just a little bit with a few drops of water. Now I'm using the tip of the bag to help add texture. Royal icing transfers are very delicate, so you always want to make extra in case of breakage. Now I'm filling in the beak with different colors of flood consistency royal icing. And then you'll do the same thing with the leaves. The toucan cookies are really large and they have a lot of different elements, so I only made three of them. But if you wanted to make a whole platter, you could turn these leaves into cookies and then have one centerpiece cookie in the middle of your platter. While the dark green icing is still wet, I'm going over it with light green icing to make the veins.
And now I'm making the plumeria. So I have my flower nail and I'm just putting a square of parchment paper. And I'm using Stiff Consistency Royal Icing with a Decorating Tip 101. I have the wide end facing out and I'm piping five petals. I'm using a dry brush just to pat down the center. These flowers and all of the royal icing transfers that we made earlier have to dry overnight. Once the royal icing on the cookie is dry, you can trace the template with an edible ink marker. And then you'll cut the template to make sure you're getting all those different shapes. I'm filling in the body with black flood consistency icing, and this is the same icing that I used to pipe the wing, so it's a little bit thicker than flood consistency, about 30 second count. Since this icing is on the thicker side, I just shook the cookie a little bit to get it to smooth out. And then you can go in with your white flood consistency icing. Again, if you're having trouble with color bleed, you can take a look at that blog post that talks all about how to prevent it. This is golden yellow flood consistency icing, and there's a full list of colors for this project in the description. You wanna to try to get all of these layers of icing in pretty quickly so that they dry smooth as one flat layer. To make reflections in the eye, I'm using the scribe tool to just get a tiny, tiny amount of white flood consistency icing. This has to dry for at least an hour before you move on to the next step. I'm putting some gel and some powdered food coloring into a paint palette, and now I'm adding a few drops of vodka to the gel food coloring. And I'm doing the same with a little bit of golden yellow food coloring. I'm painting the flower petals with the yellow food coloring. Now I'm painting just one edge of each petal with the golden yellow food coloring. And then around the edges, I'm using a dry brush to add some of that powdered food coloring.
Once the flowers are painted, you can take them off of the parchment paper. I'm using that same pink powder and a dry brush to add color to the outside of the cookie. Now I can remove the royal icing transfers from the parchment paper. It's a lot easier to remove them if you cut out each one individually. I'm attaching the royal icing transfers with a little bit of medium consistency royal icing, which holds a soft peak. I'm adding some texture to the wings with the brush embroidery technique. This is medium consistency icing and I'm just brushing it with a slightly damp brush to add texture. And these are the finished cookies. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have a minute, take a look at the description to see links that I've posted to charities that are working to help protect the Amazon rainforest. Thanks for watching. See you next time.